from the Soto district of downtown Seattle. Justice Sheffield, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy had a year you'd love to forget last year. Look at that ERA, awfully ugly. We'll see if he can rebound and pitch much better. And if he doesn't, his spot in the rotation could be in jeopardy. It'll be awfully important that he gets off to a good start in this one. And, fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Matty, this team has definitely been struggling recently, and then you get a look up right now, and you're going to face the ace. Somebody has to step up for this team. I'll tell you what, if they're able to score a few early runs off him and put him on the defensive, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And right out of the gates, the Mariners will be forced to deal with his speed at first base. A ah, nice piece of hitting right there. When you're facing a young blood on the mound, young starting pitcher, you want to get him into the stretch as quick as possible. You want to see how he handles the moment, see if maybe you can run on him. A lot of things going to open up with this next at bat. Steel, First steel. pitch on its way. Yep, a pitch out. The throw. And they still don't get him as he's in safely at second with a stolen base. Betts stands at second with no outs. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch outside. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Yeah. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. Oh, not fooled one bit by the changeup as he smokes this one to deep left field. That one will not be coming back a home run. A two run dinger by Dustin Pedroia. Home run number three here in the early going and that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five? Jeez, enough is enough. Hard liner to center field. Smith is right there, one down. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Nero, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Yeah, Matty, this team poses a lot of problems offensively. This is a scary lineup because they can beat you in a variety of ways. Not only do they have power in the middle of the order, but a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Smith is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Absolutely jumped all over that fastball and it might have been a home run if he had any elevation under it but it was basically right at the outfielder. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Sheffield comes at hitters with a good hard fastball one that's certainly fun to watch. He's a throwback to kind of guys that here's Bogarts in the air out to deep left field and it's gone as they add still another. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Here's Jackie Bradley now. And he popped him up. Beckham is calling for it. And that retires the side. Rick Porcello gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. 
but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight come in feeling good as they're 2-0 to start the new year. Yeah, Matty B, they've come out guns a blazing so far in this series. Won the first two games of this series in blowout fashion. Nothing they'd like more than to win game three of this series and continue their hot winning ways. Yeah, Dan, there's been a fight at the bat rack. They have really come alive on the offensive side and look to continue that today. And that misses ball four. So that's just what you hope for here in the first. Base runners as you try to claw back into this one. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball. One and oh. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Hey, I think this is going to be the key to his success out on the mound. That good movement on that two-seam fastball is going to keep that ball in the yard and keep this offense on its toes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. With a moment here in Seattle, a look at the Mariners' starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matt, I'm looking for someone to step up right now. Down three runs. Someone's going to have to hit a gap. Or... Meanwhile, here the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Gordon, the runner at second with one away. Fouled away. Nope. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Hey, we all love home runs and gaffers, but I love the mano e mano right here. Five foul balls in this at bat. He continues to make this pitcher work. The 2 2 one more time. And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. Porcello sets. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So it's no runs on no. Rafael Devers, the next to bat, is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. Okay, here's how the Mariners are going to line up defensively. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Throw in time at first for round number two. Sandy Leon, seven runs batted in the series for him so far, five hits total. First delivery to him on the way. Line drive to left. Santana is there, and how about that? A three pitch inning as the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They lead it three to nothing. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. Only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Fouled off. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hanniger. A California born ball player. He was selected in the first round during the first year player draft of 2012. 
Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Mitch Hanniger becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. One ball, no strikes to count. One-0 pitches his slider swung on and missed one and one. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. And that finds its way through for a base hit. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Stepping into the box, Omar Narvaez, runner in scoring position with Sugan. No balls and a strike to count. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Hey, two tough pitches right there and expect more of the same with that guy standing out on second base you don't want any RBI scoring right here with that base open at first he's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing at something outside the zone hops this one up Pedroia over to his right and that retires the side so it's back to the top of the order now and up next one of the terrific talents in the game Mookie Betts and this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Oh, wow. That's what they call it. Jam sandwich. Wow. Not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw won't get him. Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Betts leads off second with nobody out. Runner, runner, runner. Runner goes for third in there now the throw he is not in time pretty close but he got in there safely drilled to the left side and that's through into left a base hit and they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third that makes it a four nothing ball game. Boy, this guy's having a great a game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. He's yeah, going, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Good steal there, and I'll tell you, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. He's got good pops to plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. To your point, Dan, he did go deep earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having... Takes a look at a changeup there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And to score is the runner from third. Now a 5-0 lead. And he is in there. Yeah, and when a pitching coach goes to the mound this early, he's probably just looking to reset the pitcher's mindset, get him to forget about the negative, and give him something positive to focus on. We'll see if he responds. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening, as he certainly was not sharp. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. 
out of here into the visitors bullpen. It's a two run shot to straight away left the 198th of his career as this lead swells to seven to nothing. In now Xander Bogarts as he'll send a ground ball down to third a diving effort here as he gets a glove on it and no chance at a recovery here is despite a great effort that time they won't get an out on the play. So coming to the plate Jackie Bradley Jr. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver here's the first pitch strike called now the throw down way late and he's in there easily at second. Well some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead but to me it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen leads like this disappear so they're going to keep trying to pile on. He's in there. Hey. The 1-1. One, one. Drilled right back up the middle. Gordon is up with it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Wow, that was a great job to rob him of an RBI single. Showed some great athleticism, and it winds up being an RBI ground out instead. Stepping in now, Rafael Devers. As with Here's one up. away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now here it comes. And there's ball one. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Santana is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Striding in once again, Steve Pierce. First delivery to him on the way. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. Digging hard. He's headed for third. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. And that's his second triple of the season. For some hitters, that's a career. Good swing and great hustle to pick up the three-bagger. Standing in now, Sandy Leon, line towards center field. Smith is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. We'll head now to the home half of any. Now in the box, Tim Beckham. He's gone over his first six at-bats in the series so far. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Hit down the third baseline. And that's through for a hit. And this one bounds around against the wall. Boy, that's a crazy at bat right there. Takes two pitches, two quality pitches, then gets a third one, and he hits a bullet for a single. I can't tell you how good that feels as a former hitter right there. 0-2, oh, you're pretty much dead to rights, and he comes through with a big knock. Here's D. Gordon now. Hit softly down the line at first. Fielded cleanly, and he won't even try it at second as he flips to the pitcher covering to get the shoer out. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Fastball, and it gets by him a swinging strike. A ball and two strikes. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Edwin Encarnacion now. Strike one to start the at bat. Nope. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Man, I'm interested to see this next pitch. Three balls pounded on the inside half of the plate. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Well, Matt, I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Final line there for the Mariners' starting pitcher. Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road. Beckham up the middle. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Short, short and that's through for a hit running hard he's digging for second and he'll make it to second base now with two gone and he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game this one a double I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now here's JD Martinez Pitch inside the throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. The 1-0. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. Over the bullpen and gone. So a two run homer down the line and left, leaving him one shy of 200 for his career as this lead got even wider. Into the box, Xander Bogarts. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Waiting on it is Hanniger. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. But well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two run homer. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Red Sox 10, and the Mariners nothing. Stepping up now, Domingo Santana. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. 
And this is swung on and hit on the ground at Pedroia at second. And there's one down now. Digging in now for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Two balls and two strikes to count to Ryan Healy. And he fouls this one off. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse, and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Three and two, a full count to the Mariners' designated hitter. Porcello has his target with the payoff pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Bogarts has it. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We played four full. Boston's out in front, 10 nothing. So digging in now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. 92 splits the plate, and it's strike one. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Right side, fielded by Encarnacion, and they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Stepping in, Rafael Devers. He flew out in his last at bat. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. And the throw is a high one, but he's able to keep a foot tethered on the bag, and that becomes out number two. Digging in once again, Steve Pierce. A hit and two tries for him so far. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. Santana retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Coming to the plate now, Omar Narvaez. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the 1 0. -oh. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Digging in for his second at bat, Tim Beckham. He reached on a single in his first try. Porcello into the windup. First pitch on the way. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll get down for a two out single. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit he's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. 
So back to the top of the Seattle lineup, digging in D. Gordon. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. One and one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. Ready with the two and two and it's fouled away. Beckham is off of first with two away and he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two and he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here in the side. Now at the plate, Sandy Leon. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit high and deep out to left field. Gone right into the visitors' bullpen. Here's Mookie Betts. As he grounds one briskly to short, backhanded on the first. So a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Striding in, Dustin Pedroia. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here comes the first pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by, no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches, but when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. Still. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Pitch misses low. The throw down is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. A good job of hitting right there, Debo. A runner on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that and hits a grounder right up the middle that drives in a run. Yeah, it took it right back at where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners, hit something hard up the middle, whether it be on the ground or in the air. You're going to drive the run in. First offering on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The 0 1 pitch popped up. Gordon is under it. Two gone. Next up for the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. From the stretch, line drive to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So it's Malik Smith the next to hit and through five turns at bat they've only mustered a total of three hits not terrible but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well it's getting a little bit too late in this game but this continues like this in today's game with so many dominant bullpen arms you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Three and one to him now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Pedroia, oh, what a stop on the slide. On to first, and they get them both. So base is empty now after the double play. And digging in is the outfielder, Domingo Santana. No balls in one strike. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. 
This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Mariners go down quietly there. Just about given up for dead. It's 12 to nothing. Zach Roscoe enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Now at the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. He's set. Here it comes. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road splits? I think every player is, and sometimes it's a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks, and some guys quite frank. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. The 0 1 on its way. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hey, this is the game within the game right here. The hitter has to decide if he's going to change Runner, his game. Yes, yes. Is he going to stay staunch and wait for him to miss over the heart of the plate or inside? Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. The 1 2. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Smith facing back. And a climbing attempt at the wall, but this ball is gone. Two run shot to straight away center. First home run of the campaign for him as they just continue to pour it on here. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. Here's Steve Pierce now, lifted into center field. Smith is there, and he has it for the first out. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh, and up next it'll be the catcher Sandy Leone. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. So the lineup flips over and digging in Mookie Betts. He's two for four in the ball game. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a swing and here's another big drive as this ball sent high and deep to left center field. And the long ball will burn him for the second time in the inning. Another home run. Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. First home run of the campaign for him as the blowout continues. Sam Tuivalala comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. A dive, and he knocks it down. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was. They're looking at the replay in order to make a decision on challenging the out call on the field. Yeah, definitely one of those bang bang plays. And looking at it right here again, I still don't know if I can tell for sure. Going to be interesting to see what they decide to do here. In now, Andrew Benintendi. And he'll turn and try the jump throw to first. Go in time, and they stop four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. They haven't gotten much going against this guy so far in this one. He's been pitching well. And one of the key numbers to look at first pitch strikes. Over 70% so far in this outing. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. 3 1. 
I know this team has been struggling offensively but here's a perfect situation with a 3 1 count you have a chance to do some damage you know you're getting a guaranteed fastball smoked on the ground left side throw to first is in time for the first down. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Just off the outside, and it's 1 and 0. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. And it's 1 and 2. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ballgame, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Digging in, Kyle Seeger. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. I don't know if this is great deception by the pitcher, great arm action, or just bad offensive approach. They got to find a way to get something in the zone. Somebody's got to be willing to take a pitch, maybe move something the other way to kind of calibrate what the strike zone's going to be. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. He's gone deep twice in the game, making him two for four. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Run, run, run. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts. Pitch is high, the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Now the 1-0. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, 1-1. One one. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about hitting singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. D-Roy, it can't be better said. I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two-strike pitch. No get-me-over curveballs, no get-me-over change-ups. Every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose. Martinez stands at third with one gun in the inning. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. Digging in and looking for more, Rafael Devers. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Boy, this guy right here in that last AB, how about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark, but a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out the center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Behind 0-2 now. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he popped him up. Gordon shading to his right, and that retires the side. Red Sox lead. Next for Seattle, Omar Narvaez. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. Strike taken up in the zone. One out, nobody on. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Marcelo's ready. Here's the first pitch. 
The high fastball is in there. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And, and there's number eight, one away. And this is popped high in the air back behind short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Three go the Mariners. Still 16 nothing. Digging in, Steve Pierce. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Waiting on it is Henniger. And that's the second out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Mookie Betts. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. almost can't believe I'm saying this but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance. Yeah Matty B this has always been known as one of the better pitchers ballpark. Ken Griffey didn't like to hit here. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Garrett enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Standing in now, Andrew Benintendi. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Gordon is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. They get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. So striding forward now, Malik Smith. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Fouled off. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew nope. it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Smith is retired and there's one away. Ready now. Edwin Encarnacion not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. One ball no strikes to count. Hit down the line at first. And that gets through for a one out base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he had two on his mind, and that's what he'll get as he's in at second base with a one out double. They haven't had much luck so far tonight, so they'll definitely take that extra base hit. It only takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. A ball and a strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Digging in now, Mitch Henniger. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Porcello sets. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And this one's in the dirt. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Now the 2-1. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. Grounded up the first baseline. Pierce has it. And he'll step on first for the out and the ball game is over. Wow. Not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this.